Okay, happy Monday, Michelle. Happy Monday. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> busy, busy. But um, so the weekend was great. We actually got some relaxing time slash working time. Uh, we listed a lot of items and so um, that's what we've been doing. And we watched the Emmys last night. Did you guys see it? Yeah, I mean, we watched it a little bit. I was riding the, the, the bike, the stationary bike. How's it going, Irish Lux and King Arthur Curry? Happy Monday to you. Where are you guys from and what's your name? Um, that was nice. Yeah, like, honestly, over the weekend I got stuff done. I was, like, um, productive or whatever, but I also relaxed, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I, like, worked from bed and I binged watch Netflix while I was working, so that was kind of fun. What did you watch? Cobra Kai? Yeah, I don't really, yeah, Cobra Kai. How's it going, Bill? Three, two, four, fines. Happy Monday to you. Noreen from Old Lyme, Connecticut. How is the weather over there, Noreen? Also, if you are a reselling mom... Today is the last day to enter um, to this major giveaway that we're a part of. Hello, May, Ellen, Ellen's Ellen, and just Alex. Happy Monday to you guys. How were your weekends? Did you, um, how were your sales also over the weekend? And hello, Southern Sunshine Discounters. Welcome. Where are you guys from and what are your names? Ooh, that works. So we're trying something new with our slides. Um, so that is working. That's really cool. <laughs> so Bill says, happy Monday. Blah, it's Monday. Nothing good about that. Um, yeah, I know. I'm exhausted, to be honest. Um, we need to improve our schedule on the weekend. We are sleeping in when we should not do that. So if we just wake up the same time every single day, then we're not going to like hate Mondays, right? Mm. Um, and then, yeah, it's been busy on our secular jobs. But you know what? It is what it is. We're grateful for those jobs because they allow us to resell. Mm -hmm. um, so Noreen says, a little cold here on the East Coast. I was just watching Kerba I love it. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for season three. Oh, you finished two seasons? I totally did. Oh it was, my gosh. It was a great weekend. Um, and then Southern Sunshine Discounter is Jessica from Louisiana. Welcome, Jessica from Louisiana. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, self-care and sleeping are excellent, excellent things. Uh, Maisel and Zahn is Lisa from Texas. Welcome, Lisa from Texas. So um, what was your best or your favorite item that you sold last week? I have one. Oh, you want to share? Yeah, it's uh, we had a sale on Trade C, and I don't remember the last time we had a sale on Trade C. Um, so we sold something there, and we're going to share it with you. Yeah, definitely. We're going to talk about that one. So, yeah, Trade Z's been a while, but we do have, like, some items on Trade Z, Depop, and um, Grailed. Grailed. And we don't really, we're not super active on those sites, so it's always nice when we get a, a sale there. Uh, Bill said natural gas pipe is free. New furnace coming in a month. Yay! Yeah, I mean, you're going to need that, right, in the winter. Um, so this is a recap of our sales. We have 16 items that we sold. Three from eBay, three from Etsy, five from Poshmark, two from Mercari, one from TradeZ, two from OfferUp. Total profit of $518.29. What was different for us this week is we didn't, I don't think we sold any of our regular vintage electronics this mm -hmm. week. Yeah, so when we do sell those, um, we really notice our numbers rise, right? So, but we haven't been sourcing for those in a while. So Poshmark was the winner this week. Poshmark was the winner this week. That is so true. And, um, so let's see here. Okay. So Poshmark. So, um, Michelle, help me remember everyone's names. Okay. So Jessica says a baby dinosaur costume. So cute. Almost hated to see it go. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. Baby dinosaur costumes. <laughs> for yes, Halloween. For Halloween. That's what people are preparing for Halloween. And so to get started, the first item we want to share with you is we um we actually bought this for 25 cents. I don't I think the two's missing on there. It's a Halloween card and it sold on Etsy for twelve ninety six. Um on Etsy you're supposed to only sell vintage things. But to be honest, we don't know the year of this card. Um but we mm -hmm. do know it we do know we do know it was like no longer in print. You know, we bought it from, we bought a bunch of cards from Etsy. It was at a garage sale and it was from someone who worked at Papyrus. I don't know if you guys know that brand. Am I saying that right? Papyrus. Papyrus. I don't know the, how you say that. Um, and so that's where this one came from. Hello, Thrifty Divas, South Carolina. 
Um, all right. So our next sale is on Etsy. This is a TI-86 calculator. I remember using this when I was in high school. Same. Um, so this was sold for $45. We sourced it for $27. Yeah, this is not like your typical, like they have new versions of these ones, I think. So this is definitely like an old one. They don't go for as much, but I mean, we're fine with the profit that we made. Yeah, we have a couple of these ones as well. Hello, the Janice Marie. How you doing today? Happy Monday. Do And hi, Cynthia. Happy Monday to you too. Um, May Ellen's on said she loves that brand. Great find. Thank you. Pretty sure Papyrus is out of business. Papyrus? Ugh, however you say that. I didn't realize they're out of oh, business. Oh, okay. Really? So that, so that, okay. So if you didn't know, but many of you know, anything out of, um, you know, business is it's obviously worth more. worth more. So that explains why people are, are playing, paying $13 for a card but that's worth I don't know, five to, I think they're worth about eight dollars or yeah. so, depending on, some are more depending on like what they have. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're, they're really, really, um, pretty, all their cards. They're like all handmade. Okay. So, yeah. So we do have a, a question from the Janice Marie. Nobody has ever asked us this question. You're the very first person. All right. We got to, we got to discuss this. So pretty sure Pepper's is out of business. Yeah. And, oh yeah, I already read that. So her question is, hi, wondered y'all's relationship, BFFs or question mark, question mark, question mark. Hello, M Mercado 210. Um, our relationship is Michelle and I are actually legally married. That is our relationship. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't believe though, in almost two years of no reselling one has asked us. that nobody has asked us that question. <laughs> so the Janice Marie says she loves our IG Instagram. And, um, so Maze Ellen Ellen said Pepperus is now part of American Greetings. Oh, okay. So they probably got bought out. Now, Michelle, are you helping me remember everyone's name? I'm trying. It's Lisa. Lisa said oh, that. Oh, yes. Excellent. Okay. So, um, Bill said, yay, I knew that. Heart, heart, heart. And then the Janice Reese said, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. So the next, um, item that we have here is, um, it's a John Deere glass stein. This cost us a do about a dollar. It was like part of a bundle um, of an estate sale that Michelle bought mm -hmm. during quarantine when she was estate sailing online. And we sold it for $20 on our favorite platform. Um, well, one of our favorite platforms, Etsy. No, yes. 40? What did I say? 20? You said 20. <laughs> 40. 20 times two, $40. Um, and it's really cool because it has, um, like a John Deere, um, farming tractor, like an, an old one on the cover. So that's really cool. All right. So we got some comments. Um, just Alex, uh, has a heart, heart face. I don't know what you call it. Um, and then Janice Marie said, I love to shout out on Poshmark. Um, Bella, hang on. Sorry. Bella's. Can you read that? Yeah, Bella's Empresarias 19 <laughs> said, it's easy to know, friends, you are a cute couple. Thank you so much, Cynthia. You are the sweetest. Hi, Manny Aguilar 67. Hi, Manny. How you doing? Nice to see you. How was your weekend? And M Mercado 210 said, nice flip. Thank you so much. If, you're, um, if you haven't joined us in a while, please let us know your name and where you're from um, so that we can call you by your first name. Yeah, this next sale is a Poshmark sale. Um, we sold the a vintage, um, well, not yeah, it's vintage Gary Payton jersey um, from the Lakers team and a Levi's belt. I think the buyer was probably trying to get um, a discount because if you buy two more or more items, you get a discount. So he got a little discount for. So we sold this set for fifty bucks and we sourced it for six fifty one. Um, okay, and so but this Lakers shirt. Mm -hmm. was eight dollars right was it yeah where did you get that figure mm. this is from the 90s um from the hall from a state sale right i think so yeah the the lakers shirt was eight dollars and the belt was about it, about two or three bucks yeah okay so that's a, an error there but anyway um the janice marie said when you were upside down so she said hold on she said i love the shout out on poshmark when you're upside down Okay, so we did not we did not know that we had a shout out on Poshmark when we were flipped upside down. Can you let can, 
Can you enlighten us on that? We had not no we did not know that. We yeah, we never heard of it. No one told us anything. We didn't see anything. Um Mercado Two ten is Michael from San Antonio. Lisa and Michael are both from Texas. The Janice Marie's from uh, Louisiana. Janice from Louisiana. Uh, Bill Gary Payton, aka the Glove, was in Seattle first. Did not know that, but love the um, facts there. Thank you so much. And Janice said, "I'm pretty sure it was y'all." Oh, cool. I, Where I mean, was that? hopefully we could see that sometime. Oh, cool. I would love to see that. Oh, so this next one, I remember this. This was, I got this from an estate sale. There's really no brand. I don't know this brand, JM Collection, but it's 100% cashmere and it's really pretty. So from the, at the, so the folks listening at home who can't see what you're talking about, what are, what are you talking about? It's a purple poncho. I would call this a poncho. So and cute. It's, um, it's a hundred percent cashmere. So anytime, Anything is 100% cashmere, snatch it. Yes. Um, so we got this for a dollar and sold it for $31. And it's got the most beautiful brioche. It's like like a bedazzled, like almost, it's stones that almost look like a flower that close it. It's really, really polished and really beautiful. <laughs> Bill said he had me at cashmere, cashmere. at cashmere. All right, so these shorts are the Quicksilver brand. They're size 30, even though it's cooling down, shorts are still selling. So we have a stash of shorts that we need to, um, we need to list actually, they're mine. We were doing some closet clear out in our closets and we need to list those because we sold these for $23. They are um, gently used and our cost was $2. Um, Manny Aguilar says nice poncho. Thanks man. Really, really nice poncho. <laughs> All right, this next one, I believe we got this from like a, a retail arbitrage, right? Um, so yes. we got this Tommy Hilfiger push-up bra, brand new, and this was $4 and we sold it for $25. Exactly, yeah, that was pretty good. We sold that on Poshmark. We have a quick, quick question here um, or comment. Bill says, if you purchase 100% cashmere, make sure to check for moth holes. You got good that tip. right. We have a few garments that actually have do have those holes. yeah so then if you do sell those we just have to make a note of it and and explain that in our descriptions yeah so my question is yeah. is there any um solution to take care of moth holes hello cat's journey right i always wonder journey frugality how you doing happy monday so the next item we have here is um a red velvet jewelry box it is vintage and it sold on Poshmark for $15. We paid $4 for it. Um, but it's really cute. Like you can put your, it's like a cute little box. Um, and it's like, I think it's like for jewelry collectors, you can put your rings there and small earrings so that you don't lose them. Mm -hmm. Um, my grandma used to sell jewelry and she, I used to see her with these cute little velvet bags and a bunch of like gold jewelry mm -hmm. all the time when she was selling her jewelry. So mm -hmm. Excellent. And that was um, sourced from an, an online estate sale. All right. This next one is an Oakley um, double zip ski jacket. People are thinking about going skiing nowadays. So list all your jackets. We uh, sourced this for $6.51 and sold it for $50. Yeah, we do want to make a, a quick note on this jacket. We sourced this one from... Jomar. Jomar, yeah. So Jomar is kind of like a... It's, it's a thrift store, right? Um, and they're on the East Coast. They're actually based out of Pennsylvania. And we purchased two box from them, boxes from them. Um, we're silly. We didn't use anyone's discount code to do this on the first purchase, but uh, we do have a discount code if you're interested in our bio. You'll get 10% off your purchase. Um, and anyway, let's continue the story. So we bought a box that had men's jackets. I think it was 15 jackets for $75, $75 right? We also got another box that had 25 mixed graphic tees for uh, I don't know, 50 or something. Yeah, I think the price on that one was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I think it's like $50 for it. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Um, anyway, long story short, it wasn't worth it to us to buy those graphic tees, so we don't recommend those. But the box of men's jacket, we've already made our money back and some. So we've sold two jackets the next day that we listed them, and then we sold one today. For like $125. So if you guys are looking for items of source, 
Check out Joe Mar Joe Mar's wholesale. We sold another one. Oh, and we sold before another one the live. before the live. Yeah. yeah. How's it going, possibly Lissa? Happy Monday to you. Hello. Now, there's a couple questions about like the moth whole thing that you mentioned. You had a question about how yeah. to fix it. Yeah. Um, Bill suggests super glue, and then Irish Lux. Do you remember her name? Uh, Irish Lux Noreen. Noreen. All right. So she's um, she's asking. Um, if like, how would you know if it's a moth hole, right? Like, mm -hmm. how do you know? That's a good question. Um, there, her holes, she has holes on a vintage cashmere, cashmere and then she says they're really, really tiny, but she points them out. So, um, and then Bill says most certain it's a moth because they're always small. So that's interesting. So Bill, you mentioned using super glue. Do you just like glue the garment and that works? Hmm. All, All right. right. So actually, just kidding. We did sell an electronic item. Yeah, we sold one on eBay, and this is a Magnavox DVD VCR combo. We purchased it for forty one dollars and sold it for one fifty eight. All right, that's not bad. Goodness, not um, bad. And where did you sell it at? eBay. eBay. Yes. All right. So this next uh, shirt that we have here is a Tommy Bahama. Um, shirt. It was not in perfect condition. It had some staining. We paid $15 and sold it for $45.79 on eBay. That's still a pretty good price for yes, Tommy Bahama. Yes, it is. Bahama. Totally. Um, we talked about Beanie Babies last week. We actually sold one on Mercari. And this was, we sourced it for about $0.25 cents and sold it for $10. Yeah. There you, there you go. All right. And so this next one here was, um, it's like a Game of Thrones toy. Um, that you just display, and what was the cost on that? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. We sold it for nineteen. So profit wasn't big, but we've had that sitting around for over a year. So we're happy to, you know, get our money back and a little bit more. All right, this next one is my favorite sale of last week. So this was purchased at a an estate sale online. Sorry, for the folks at home, can you describe the item? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay. So when when I was watching the estate sale online. You literally could not see what was part of the lot. It was a lot of clothes. Um, the person, you know, selling on, describing it on online just said, oh, there's a couple of J. Crew, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, for $60. But it was a lot. It was like six, um, 10 to 12 garments. To be honest, I was not happy with the purchase at all. But then I saw this beautiful piece and I was like, all right, we'll make our money back. So this is a <laughs> Ralph Lauren... Um, new with tag, black label poncho. This is made out of merino, merino wool. And this, the price tag was at $498. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we're not super happy with the sold price because trade see, like they fluctuate the sale price and I had no clue they were doing that, but we let it go. Um, we purchased it for about $4 and, um, sold it for $193. Yeah. We're happy to let it go. Somebody who bought this can wear it and flip it and even make a profit off of it because the value is more than twice the amount. Um, Manny says, is it poncho night? <laughs> I know. Very People expensive poncho. poncho night. How's it going, Brittany? Discount deals for you. Happy Monday. All right. So this next sale here was a baby's booster chair. We sold this on OfferUp. OfferUp is one of our favorite platforms. Um, it's work. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's different than, it's like different than Tradesy. I want to, I mean, Etsy, it's almost the opposite, but we paid $7.50 for this one and sold it for $15. The profit is not big, um, but you know, it's still profit, but you you, know, you don't have to ship it. You don't have to pay for any supplies. So why not, right? And we're helping someone get a new, um, you know, it looks new um, booster seat for their baby. Yeah, we bought this in a bundle of other chairs and we also happened to sell the other chair that was in this bundle, which we also paid 7.54 because we divided up our, what we paid and we also sold this one for 15. So, you know, we slightly only increased our, um, our, our profit on that, but, but we also made money, um, on the other chair. It was a high chair that we had sold a baby high chair. So yeah, plus um, we need the space. It's fine. Yeah, we're fine items. with that. <laughs> So here's a quick recap, and so it's not exact given a couple of our numbers were off by a few dollars, but the recap was 16 items, three for eBay, three for Etsy, five on Poshmark, two on Mercari, and one on Tradesy, for a tro total gross of 778.35 and a total profit of 518.29, which we're totally okay with. 
Uh, we do have a couple of questions though that we wanted to um, get to. So um, Beas Empresarias 19 says, do you see a difference in offer up now that they're together with let go? I don't. Actually. I mean, to be honest, I feel like it's too soon to tell. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, in term in terms of like getting people to message you, I don't really see a difference. Um, we're not super active on there, but nothing has really changed from from our perspective. Yeah. I mean, like I think it's too soon to tell. Um, we do get more. We have been getting a lot of messages lately, though. To be honest, but. You, I've been answering them all, so <laughs> we didn't know that. Okay, so let's go with another question that we have from Manny. Manny says, where will you get more money for combo players? I have a few. Um, Etsy. Etsy. Yeah, 100% Etsy, Manny. Manny, Etsy, and always use hashtags, making sure you list the item accurately, but maximize the hashtags, maximize your photos, and the title. Yeah, definitely. Um, so how's the, how's the Etsy store uh, process going, Manny? All right, so that was it for today. We do have something we'd like to share. Is this motivational or Mimi? It's, it's Mimi. <laughs> like, it's I don't know. Motivational. Motivational. Okay, you want to share? Yeah, because I need to be motivated. It's Monday. Um, <laughs> so it says, when you feel like stopping, think about why you started. It's a very typical way to be motivated, right? Yes. Um, do you feel like stopping? Sometimes. Okay. Well, I need to motivate her because I don't ever feel like stopping. <laughs> I feel like stopping because sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm like, I want a break. I need a break. Well, but so taking a break doesn't mean you're stopping. It just means you're taking a break, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely take breaks. That's one way to get your motivation back. Uh, Manny said he's still working on the Etsy store. Yeah, yeah, it does take some time. Um, hopefully you can get that going as soon as possible. So thank you guys um, all for joining us and for being a part of our lives on this beautiful Monday night. Um, you know, we really appreciate that. Thanks for joining everyone and we will see you tomorrow. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.